Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. Gonna listen to the Mets game as I drive from Montville to home, Patterson, New Jersey. I was in Montville watching my son play softball for his softball team at the Lake Valhalla Club. And now we're headed home listening to the Mets. It's AM, so it's not going to sound very clear. Yeah, Rep 80's been really good over at third base since he's come up, and he just got caught in between on that one, like you said. No balls, two strikes. Peterson ready from the belt. And the pitch. Upstairs, pops out of the glove of Zito. It's one of two. Darren Ruff, second stint with the Giants, broke back into the big leagues after a long career in Korea with San Francisco. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with a slider. Second strikeout in the inning for David Peterson, and there's two away. Fifth strikeout overall. The error with Estrada at second. In there, called strike. Nothing in one. Cut on that pitch because Frank. This is Wagal Road. For a potential back pick over at second, and Peterson did not flinch even with the clock down to two. The old from the belt, the 0 1. Swing and a miss. Hard sinker down and in, and it's no balls and two strikes. And Porto's one for two today. He has a single, a run scored, and an RBI, and he calls time. Now 30 years old from Seattle, Washington. That's the overall pick by the Mets, 2014. Peterson's ready. And the 0-2 pitch. High and wide. One and two. So I don't know the city boundaries, so I don't know when or if we left Montville already. Toronto still at second. Lindor charges in hard from second base, now back pedals. Peterson sets, kicks, pitch. Swing a foul ball back to the netting. One ball and two strikes. We have seen Lindor do that quite often over the last week or so. He'll come in hard to the back pocket of a base runner at second, then go back to his position. One ball and two strikes. Peterson looks in. Walk down to five as he comes set. Left-handers ready. Checks on second. And the pitch. Down the way. Two balls, two strikes. David Peterson, the Oregon Duck. Michael Conforto, the Oregon State Fever. We're on Main Road. Checks on Estrada. And the 2 2. Swing and a miss. He got him. Three strikeouts in the inning for David Peterson, and he works around the two base error. He is through four. As we head to the fifth inning, it's the Giants 6 and the Mets 2. We're headed on to Whitehall Road. I apologize that the radio is not very good. It is AM after all. Get moving in the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet, like the CRV and Accord, with available hybrid powertrain designed for more responsive performance. Honda. We are on Whitehall Road right now. This is the Tawako Station and Rails Steakhouse is on the left. Hybrid or 2023 Accord Hybrid. Contact your local Honda dealer today. Just like the team from Queens, That street here is Route 202, also known as Firehouse Road. So hopefully you guys are enjoying your week. 
as I drive home listening to the New York Mets. Right now, we're getting clobbered six to two. Rebuilding our infrastructure, whether it's transportation, water, or energy projects, Elex and the Operating Engineers 825. So I get to bring my subscribers with me as I listen to the game. Awesome. I'm still here going to the Detroit. Montville United Methodist Church is, it, is there on the right. Part of the beauty of this house is transforming lives through innovative kidney treatments, living donor programs, and world-renowned care at two of New Jersey's premier hospitals. They gave me my normal life back. It's a blessing. Learn more at rwjbh.org slash kidney transplant. RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together. Dorsey Pond and Canal Park was there on the right, the entrance to it. Listen every day to WCBS 880. Top of the fifth inning here in San Francisco. Game three of four. The Giants currently lead the Mets six to two. And as Brett Beatty comes to the first off against Logan Webb. Brett Beatty is one of our newer players, a rookie who they just called up. Building our future. For the match, it's Beatty, Nito, and Nimmo, eight, nine, and one. Beatty lefty batter, Webb fires. And Beatty slams it foul deep down the left field line. Do we have any baseball fans out there? Let, let me know in the comments below. And if you are a baseball fan, what's your team? I'm a Mets fan as we cross Alpine Road. That doesn't necessarily make me a Yankee hater. When, when I was younger, we only had a couple of stations, right? Channel 9, ch yeah, like three major networks and a couple of other networks like Channel 9, 11. And the Mets never played the Yankees. So the first time I ever heard of a Yankee player I was in grammar school and a friend of mine, a student colleague of mine, classmate, was talking about a player on the on, the, on his team that hit three home runs in the, in the playoffs. And obviously he was talking about Reggie Jackson. So that's when I kind of really started becoming aware of the actual players on that Yankee team. To me, the, the whole American League was a foreign thing because I was in the National League and because the Mets were not very good in the 70s, they were never in the playoffs. So I never had occasion to hate them as a rival as they are, you know, today. So anyway, let's get back to, to it, 880. We're gonna see what buses come through here because I like doing that when I do my driving videos. So if you're in this area, Mount Heights Avenue, you can take 871 to Willowbrook Mall, Lakeland to New York. So 871, and that's right here across from the post 279 American Legion in Lincoln Park, Mountain Heights Ave and Main Street. That's the corner. That was the bus route, Winona Avenue. We just crossed. Still getting warmer as the day goes by. 0 2 to Nito, outside with the slider. Nito bounced out to the third baseman, David Villar. He's 0 for 1. Here comes the 1 2. Grounds to the short. Crawford waits on it. Fields between the white cleats. Overhand power to first base in time. And Nito now 0 for 2. So Logan Webb has gone through the Mets shorter now twice. Now here's Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo at 422 to right center field. A home run in all 30 big league parts for swing he put on a ball in the third inning for his second homer. Webb fires. And missed inside, ball one. Webb's pitch got in good shape. He did 74 tosses. 48 strikes, 26 balls. 1 0. Missed on the outside corner. So it doesn't work east, doesn't work west. And it's 2 0 on Nimmo. With Charlie Marte to follow. Mets down 6 2, top of the fifth. Hitters count, pitch. Grounded to first. Flores has it on the backhand, and Wilbur Flores sinks across the pillow in time to end the inning. Logan Webb in control today for the Giants. 
San Francisco has a 6 2 lead at the end of four and a half from Oracle Park on the WCBS. Going past Homestead Lane and Hilltop Farm entrance, I think those are condos or apartments, not sure. Crossing Branch Place. Wow, this AM reception is horrible. As we cross Hunter Road. Skyline Drive, we're crossing. This is this is Booten Turnpike. I always get a kick out of comments that tell me that I went past your street. So if I did that, let me know. Henry Terrace, we're crossing Henry Terrace. I do read all the comments. And I do analyze the likes on the videos. I have kind of like my own little contest going. I want to see which video gets the most likes. So far, I think one of my videos, I forget which one, as we pass Colby Court, has 40 likes. And that's kind of like the high tide for, for, the, for the month. And that's about the high tide for the videos that I put up. It ranges anywhere from 8 likes, 9 likes, up to like 40. As we cross Serpentine Drive. We got Old Glory there on the right, up ahead. I love capturing our flag, our red, white, and blue. There she is. Okay, let's get back to the road here. We have another one. Crossing River Edge Road, we're entering the township of Wayne. You got the Nama Noodle Bar on the left. They have bubble tea. Love bubble tea. Taro is my favorite. Taro tea. We're going past the Grasshopper 2 Irish Pub and Restaurant. The track is out of here. It's out of here. He said, It's out of here. So we're losing seven to two now. That was Wilmer Flores. He was an ex Met, a beloved Met. Bottom part of the zone and he did not miss it. So now Peterson faces David VR. First taunt. And the righty strikes one in the air center field. Nimmo back to the track at the wall. He makes the catch and goes pounding into the green padded wall. Now he's got it. And he's back up on his feet after a dramatic catch. That announcer sounds a lot like the old time news that um, back couple of decades ago in the news today so that's what he sounds like Caught him. and it's probably because of the AM broadcast many of you will recognize this street here in this highway it's route 23 and we're headed south. And of course, we're gonna take 80 east to our beloved Patterson. Miles an hour to straightaway center field. Crawford calls for time. Peterson gets the thumbs up from Chad Winston. Here comes the 0-2. And he got him swinging, breaking the ball down and away. 
So here at Oracle Park, told you many flags. And the ones that are in straightaway center, none of them. An orange and black pennant that are draped over the, the big clock at center. So all pointing towards the straightaway center. Mark that base is directly east. If you're standing at home plate looking out to the pitcher, directly east. It's Joey Bart, who has that same view now. Righty batter's box. 7-2 Giants. Pitch. Swing and a miss to the breaking ball down. Now we're on 80 East. Coming up on exit 54, Minnesink Road, Totowa, Little Falls. One ball, one strike. Exit 54 is the exit to William Patterson University. They're really trying to hang in there and deliver some length after giving up six runs in the first two innings. He winds down the one one. And that's a little bit high for ball two. Joey Bart, he's 0 for 2. Had a warning track fly out to deep left center back in the third. And the Nimmo made a catch. Here comes the 2 1. Down and out. And it's ball three. This is a trip where the Mets have gone 7 and 1, and the only loss gets Clayton Kershaw at his best. That's how good this trip has been for the Mets. It is a 3 1. And it's on the outside corner for a strike. Bart. This outside corner for a strike. We'll be back with Lux Soap Theater. Chad my time. I love classic radio. Happy music because that clock's not going to wait for you to get back. Let me know if you're interested in, in old time suspenseful radio dramas. I could also listen to those as I'm driving to certain places and can broadcast that as well. So Bart strikes out, the end comes to an end, but old man Wilmer Flores hits a deep solo shot to left field and... Passing Woodland Park, Squarewood Road. Live from Oracle Park on the WCBS Mets Radio Network. Well, the Mets are losing 7-2. Well, that's okay. I am happy to have you guys join me here in the back seat as backseaters to a Fred Drives video. I want to thank you guys for always viewing, subscribing, being loyal viewers and subscribers to the channel. I really appreciate it. And also, again, I just wanted to remind everyone that if you do purchase anything from the merchandise store, just remember that it could take a long time to receive it, but you will receive it. And we do have Pride in Patterson merchandise. We have some Autism Cares merchandise and a couple of cute cat t-shirts as well. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next Fred Drives video.